Survivors of the deadly attack have now been reunited with their families. Some recounted the horrifying scenes they were forced to witness, while others told of their fears as their loved ones were trapped inside the building. Ian McKinnell has the story. A tale of fear and horror. Survivors would bust out to a nearby community center where they were finally reunited with their family members. One man, who was inside the building with his daughter when the attack took place, explained how they managed to hide from the gunmen. Immediately we thought that. We were barricaded under a desk and you know, I had the little one with me. But thank God she's fine and you know, we're safe and our prayers go out to the people that, that lost lives and family members today. For those on the outside, it was a frantic wait for news of their loved ones. I was pacing in my room, all kinds of emotions, just fear, um, anxiety, all kinds of emotions. Yeah. But she kept in contact with us every 10 to 15 minutes to say, this is what's going on. And what did she say what's coming? There were helicopters up above. The alarm had been set off at their work. They told them not to leave the building. They had to get on the floor. They were in the dark. And then the SWAT team showed up and, and was keeping them contained and safe. And then they bust them out to uh, another facility downtown until finally we got to see her just now. Well, she's back with us. What did you say to her? Oh, all we did was cry and hug. That's all. It was very emotional. Very emotional. But we're glad she's safe and the rest of her friends are. The shooting rampage in San Bernardino marks the deadliest U.S. gun violence since the attack at Sandy Hook Elementary School in December 2012 in which 27 people, including the gunman, were killed. The shooting will, once again, almost certainly prompt more widespread debate in the U.S. over new gun control proposals in the country. Ian McKinnell, CCTV.